Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year, happy 2024. It's been so long, a few months actually, since I've been back here on YouTube. It's just been a busy last few months and I know that's not really an excuse, but last time I was here is in October for my birthday. I shared with you what we did for my birthday and then school just got super crazy. Right now I'm on winter break and we are back home in the Bay Area and I wanted to share with you my Christian Louboutin shoe collection and this is a collection that I've been collecting over the last 13 years for over the last decade. I do want to try to buy purchase more shoes but it's just my lifestyle right now it doesn't include wearing heels out to school. Um, so yes I am currently in nursing school. Hopefully that pans out for me after I graduate at the end of this year in October. So it's graduation year for me. Um, Anyway, so besides all that little life update, uh, let's get started and talk about uh, Christian Louboutin shoes. So we can start, and they're right here on my shoe shelf. Uh, this is an IKEA Pax closet system, and I have the very um, one, the one that's very deep. So you could put two sets of shoes here, one in the front, one in the back. But I, for this video, I just placed it in one single file. So I'm going to start with my shoe collection of my first pair to the recent pair that I got. Well, actually, the last, what I got in like 2021, I think. Yeah, so let's get started. I'm so excited to share with you my love for Christian Louboutin shoes. So the first pair here, I think we got, we, as in I say my husband got me, in 2010. These are the Maggie Chain Toe suede um, heels. I wear a size 36 or is equivalent to size 6 in US and so the detail here, the chain toe you could see here, it's like a, a suede here and then just like the anthracite type of look right there and of course the classic red bottom. So I learned that getting the cobbler to place the rubber bottom here um, on the Christian Louboutin heels protects the sole. And yes, I actually do like to wear it without. I, my first two wears, at least, I wear the shoe without getting it um, sold here so that I can make the marks that I wanted to and then I'll just cover it up by the cobbler. Um, I used to go to a place down in downtown San Francisco in the Westfield Mall. I think they charge about like 30 bucks to do it, but obviously over the last decade, the prices have increased and I don't even know if they still exist because I know they closed the uh, Nordstrom in the Westfield Mall so I don't know about all those other shopping stores but here is this pair it's a uh, let's see I still have the box for all my Louboutins too they're actually all on top of the closet I'm not going to reach for it now but they're all up there this one's a size 36 um 140 centimeters heel height so that's kind of like five inches um but yeah, those are it. Got my second pair, another suede. This one's one of my favorite. These are like the fall winter, I want to say 2010. And I believe my husband got these. I don't even know where he got these, but maybe Barney's when they used to have Barney's. But I love these so much. The suede detail. So these are 160 centimeters, size 6. They're peep toe. I love these because you could wear it with... Um, black stockings even though they're peep toe um, they're super high so obviously cannot wear these with or along with my daughter but the detail here like the little fanning out of this and the suede and the buckle I just absolutely love these um, I wear them a few times I'll also show on the screen how I styled it back in like 2010 2011 and 2012 so yeah these are platform and they're actually comfortable they're comfortable because of the platform. If they weren't platform, they would be hard to walk in just because the um, the incline of your, your toe. But these come with the dust bag too and heel tap. So a lot of Christian Louboutin shoes come with it. All of them do, actually. So let me show you. So these are my first pair ones, right? And so it comes with a dust bag. And then they come with the little dust bag for the heel taps. So these are the heel taps that you put on the bottom of the shoe. Um, see it a little there. I don't know if you could tell. Just check it out. But um, I 
I think mostly all of my shoes I probably got stuck in like a street gutter um, and then the heel would come up and you could just bring it to the cobbler so the material will come up and raise up and then you could bring it to the cobbler they can stretch it and pull it down it's much harder with like the patent leather but if it's leather most of the time they can do it and so my third pair I believe or these lady daffodils. So I I know back are kind of dusty because I haven't worn them, but back in 20, I don't know, maybe 14 or 13 I got these. And these are the lady daffs. So these are super double platform. So these are like 160 centimeters. And I got these in a 36 and a half, um, which is now my current size. But I absolutely love this shoe. I always wanted to sell it, but it's just like a classic Mary Jane but double platform and it's the almond toe which I absolutely love and they are hard to walk in because they're super high and they're more like probably from car to bar type of shoe not like dancing all night in you know just to look sit and look pretty maybe but I usually use these or wear these when I want extra height when I don't want to hem some of my pants or my dresses I probably wore these like less than 10 times but I can't let go of these. These are just super. I love these. Um, and I also got them sold just like the other ones. And yeah, so this is my size now. I'm a 36 and a half. I think I went up a size on here because I don't know. I just felt like the size six was too tight on the, these ones. So it's between the Pigal Foley's. And forgive me if I'm saying it wrong, I'm not, I don't sell this brand, I don't, I didn't make this brand, but I just purchased it. So these are the patent leather platform pickle foley's. Um, I love this because it's a nude color. These are kind of, I think these are the most comfortable ones that I have because they're platform. The heel height is like one, 120, um. Millimeters and I think I kept saying centimeters earlier, but it's millimeters and that's equivalent to like four inch heels So those are the most comfortable size heels for me are the heel height and then I got these rubber soles put on them and I wore these a lot you can see here. I don't know how close you could see but as I mentioned I do get my heels stuck in gutters quite often walking on the streets but the cobbler was able to stretch it out a little you can see that it's like kind of wrinkled but honestly I don't really care the the red bottoms you know that's what steals the show for me but so it was between these pigal platforms that were my next pair but so that was one two three four and so maybe the fifth one were, were <sighs> these classic black patent pigals um okay sorry these are these are the Pigal Play-Dohs because they're platforms. And then these are the Pigal Foley's because they're not platform. So you can see the difference. There's no platform on the black one, on the patent leather, and there is a platform here. There's the same heel height, and which is why I explained this is the most comfortable because of the platform helps, you know, elevate, lift up your foot a little more so that you're not like totally on your tiptoes. But I love these. These are a very classic staple to have in your wardrobe um, these are size 6 I also got these red soles repaired or uh, covered and yeah if you look closely on this one it it was stretched out too or like damaged on the heel because I got stuck and they stretched it out as much as they could to they, they tried to revamp it I guess I don't know but anyways I love these very very cute very classic and so are the nude pigal play-dohs I would always wear these these are so like interchangeable like yes it's too much for like a research manager to wear in a lab but I would wear these for a night out so next are my wedding shoes so I have two pairs of wedding shoes both that I might not be able to fit anymore. Um, actually, one of them I can fit, but they're just so hard to walk in. And then the other ones, they're just too tight now because post 
baby, my foot kind of grew a little bit, like almost half an inch, but not really. So I'm now I'm between a six and a six and a half, depending on the shoe. But our first wedding, so one of three weddings, we had an elopement in 2017. And my husband got me these So Kate's. So Kate's are like the sexiest height, the sexiest heel. Like they look so sexy, like it elongates a woman's legs and um yeah of course the red bottom i've never gotten these ones resold because i barely wear them they're just so inclined these ones are the ab white which you can kind of see it's like a not metallic i don't know how to describe it it's more like chromatic um white picks up the shine here and the light but these are a size six and i wore these to our elopement and i'll put that here on the screen so we eloped at city hall san francisco then I tried to wear it for a few like wedding events, but they're just so hard to walk in. This is another car to bar heel, um, but they're like the most beautiful shoe. Like they're very classic and elegant and they can elevate your outfit. These are the hardest to put on as well because the incline is so high, but these are the Socates in AB Whites. Then my next wedding shoe these are my favorite, favorite pairs um, because they're the most expensive, but also they're the most prettiest. And I feel like every woman should have a type of shoe, just a glitz and glamour type of shoe. So these are the Pigalls, Pigall Follies, and they have Swarovski crystal on them. So there's a mesh. You can see the mesh here on the side. They're a nude mesh. Um, and I got these soles put on as well but this was the shiny material sole and it was kind of slippery when I first got it but I prefer the rubber sole to protect it. Um, these are a size um, 35 and a half which is why I mentioned I can't fit my wedding shoes anymore because I was now in between a size six and six and a half and I wanted to sell these and you can see here the snake skin on the back of the heel. They're just such a great pair like so many memories in this and I try to wear as much as I can. I can still wear it but then my feet would just be so like cramped after the night but this could be a car to bar out, um, shoe as well just because they're too tight. But um, I did a little photo shoot in these heels the day of our public wedding so the, our second wedding um, in August 2018 and I absolutely love these. Um, I want to purchase another pair that are actually my size so I can wear like you know I don't know, a vow renewal on our 10 years and just get the classic ones without the snake skin on the back. But I absolutely love these. These were my most expensive Louboutins. These were over 1100 And I think, I don't want to say they were impulse buy, but because I was like, I need to have these for my wedding. I was like, I need to get them before they sell out. But anyway, I love the detail because even the lining here is nude. And the inside, it's like metallic. I don't know if you can catch that in the instep here. But wedding shoe of my dreams. I love these so much. I wanted the flats too. Maybe I can get those sometime in the future. Okay. And so coming up on the last three pairs, I have 10 pairs. And so the year of our wedding, I think this is a Christmas present. These are the smallest heel that I have. These are a kitten heel. And I I fell in love with these because of the spike, but also I just wanted something different, something comfortable. And the mule was like to totally in in 2018. So I was like, okay, I think I want these versus the Jimmy Choo ones that are like this, but higher heel, but I should have got the Jimmy Choo's because I don't even wear these anymore. And these are a size six. And I feel like I should have gotten a six and a half because my foot grew, um, but these little kitten heels, it's just funny because, you know, Louboutin is more known for high, high heels, sky high heels. And, but yeah, these were super cute. Were, they are super cute. I love the spike detail. My husband has a spike of the rollerboard spikes that I got him from Barney's. And yeah, these are just super classic. Very classy, very, I guess, dressed down, if you will. Um, I wore these with the jumpsuit for Christmas in 2018. Well, the lighting's changing in here, um, but I did not get these repaired or covered, but these are suede and these are size six and yeah, I absolutely love these ones. 
So I think I was debating between like the hot pink ones with the gold spikes, but I was gonna have to go with the classic black just because this is my first pair of kitten heels from the Bhutan, but ouch, that's how they look. <laughs> so we move on to 2020. Um when we all stayed at home, these are my so cakes. These are like the kind of crock embossed looking ones. They're all red. I wanted a red pair. Um, these are size 36 and these are quite comfortable because they're not as inclined as the so cakes. So these are just the cakes. They're a 150 mm in the height. So let's see. Let's try to compare it with the pigals. Yeah, they're the same height as these pigal foley's. So these are quite comfortable actually. These are size 6. Um, I got these for my 2020 stay at home birthday. I say that because I didn't really wear them. I think I wore them to din dinner and I wore it with my Saint Laurent um, chain bag. But I love these because they're a pop of color. Red on red just does it for me and I didn't get these um, repaired or covered yet. So yes the kates and then let's see my very last Louis, pair of louboutins that i received as a gift for valentine's day 2021 before we found out we were pregnant are these scalloped pigal bullies these are very classic as well i love the scallop shape here and then I got them in nude because I absolutely love the black ones that I have, but I wanted to try the scalloped pair. So these are the same height as the Pigal Foley's. They're just scalloped here. And um, they're a size 6. I haven't got them repaired as well. Um, just because I just haven't. But these are my go-to classics as well. When I want a thinner heel compared to the Pigal Play-Dohs. So when you compare them here... The Pigal Foley's are the same. It's just the scallop part right here on the nude ones. And then when you compare it to the Pigal Play-Dohs, you can see the different, well, my Play-Dohs are jacked up, but there's a little high, higher on the Play-Dohs because of the platform, but they're so different. I don't know if you know that's from, kudos to you, but these are so different and this is, um, yeah, these are my 10th pair and I absolutely love these and I'm thinking I'm getting another classic or like I want to get a peep toe with a like the lady peeps. I absolutely love those. I always wanted those ones. I did have the no, I did have the lady peeps for a second and then I exchanged it for these Maggie chain toes because I was like, I can't walk in the lady peeps. They're the 160 platform, double platform. Um ones and I should have because I was like 23 24 at that time and I was like I should have got those or kept them but I decided not to and now I want the lady peeps or the the slingbacks so but yeah anyway so that's it for my Christian Louboutin heel collection. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen today and if you prefer videos like this to see all my collection like my shoe or my purse collection let me know in the comments down below so this pair was the last pair that i was gifted in 2021 and so i hope to purchase more in the future but like i mentioned my lifestyle does not match um these shoes currently at the moment but i will still keep these these maggie chain toes are actually on sale on my poshmark which i'll link down below for 350 i think they're originally 9.95 995 dollars us dollars but i'm trying to sell it for 350 because i don't wear them anymore um but so if you're interested check that out down below and also make sure you give this video a like comment down below and subscribe to my channel for videos like this in the future thanks so much bye